Hi all. In this video, we are going to discuss about the ETOM model. In our earlier videos, we had seen about BSS and OSS. What are the applications that are associated to your BSS and OSS support system, right? Along with the network support system. Now, in this video, we are exclusively going to discuss about the ETOM model. Okay, now what exactly is ETOM? Now, if you want to uh, explain about the ETOM or if you want to uh, abbreviate it, right? Now, it mainly stands for your Enhanced Telecom Operations Map. What it is? Enhanced Telecom Operations Map. Okay. Now this is a framework. Now why framework is important for any service provider, right? Now there should be a standard uh, framework which will help in uh, standardizing the business processes and functions. Because if we really see now uh, in the telecom or in any kind of the big industry, if you see then there are business processes, right? And functions. Right. Now, uh, in order to deliver the services effectively, now we have to standardize the set of processes relating to your business framework as well as your functions. Right. Now, from that terms, if we really see, uh, we can say that ETOM serves as a blueprint which helps in process enabling, which is useful for re-engineering the needs, partnerships, and related alliances right now here what we are saying that it helps as a blueprint now why we say blueprint because uh, if you want to re-engineer the process now let's say you are having any process already defined in the uh, organization and if you want to relook into the processes that is what we want to re-engineer the process so we can uh, work on re-engineering the process right now uh, the second is on the partnerships we can work and also uh, related alliances right related alliances now this is what uh, etom will specifically categorize so why we are saying this as a blueprint because it helps in enabling the process re-engineering processes which relates to the needs partnership and your related alliances now here we can say that ETOM is a reference framework. Why we are saying that it is a reference framework? Because it helps in categorizing the activities related to your business process of a service provider. Now this categorization is in the form of structured manner. Now whatever the categorization that we do or whatever the categorization that has to be done, it is in a structured format. Why in the structured format? Because we need to understand the business processes. We need to see that where exactly the business process will fit in which kind of domain, right? So it is again very important to understand the domain and the categories. So from that part, uh, uh, perception, if you say the classification of the process will or are grouped in terms of domains and the vertical categories or the horizontal functions so what we are saying now here again we are getting introduced to your new thing that is nothing but your domain right and vertical or horizontal categories now here why domain is important now let's say if we consider telecom uh, there are huge business processes right now uh, the, in the telecom itself we are having a different different domain for example ra if you take that is your revenue assurance fraud management you take right then you take your crm order management product management right revenue management then comes your network management then comes your uh, uh, billing management then rating management right different different things are there now uh, in order to have now it is like now revenue assurance itself is a big domain in the telecom industry okay because it is mainly responsible for handling the total revenue leakages or if any of the new product is getting introduced into the market right then it is very important that revenue assurance team they do all checks and balances in terms of the revenue that whether the desired product is ready to go into the market right from that perspective this is only just one example what i'm saying 
now in another perspective if you say fraud management now fraud management itself is a big concept correct because now in the telecom industry if you take there are different different frauds that are happening so how to prevent the fraud how uh, uh, fraud is happening what are the terms that are relating to your fraud in the industry right those all things has to be understood and what are the different kinds of frauds that are happening so because it is again direct impact on your uh, revenue so this is all fraud management itself is one domain where you need to understand the entire uh, uh, process of the fraud management so like that now when we know that how the categorization of this domain uh, sorry when we know the different different domains then it is very important for us to categorize that now that categorization can be in your vertical uh, uh, function or your in your horizontal function okay now when we say the vertical function what exactly is included in your vertical functions now when we say vertical function now it is mainly relating to your operations support and readiness what we are saying one thing is operation support and readiness then next comes your uh, fulfillment then your assurance and then comes your billing okay now in this case if we see uh, operation support system and readiness we can refer at operation support system and readiness that is nothing but your os r okay fulfillment and reassurance and billing now this can be classified in your uh, vertical function now operations what it includes basically now in the operation if you see it is a process that supports the customer needs right network management and uh, supplier partner relationship management so what we can consider in the operations uh, uh, support and readiness the processes which supports the customer needs when we say customer needs the concept itself is a very big uh, uh, thing to understand because there will be different different types of issues the needs the requirement of the customers right it may be your internal customer or the external customers within the organization or the end users right now uh, why we are why we have to focus on this customer needs because this directly re relates to your revenue growth of an organization if your customer is satisfied then more of the products will be penetrated into the market and you will be able to make more business right but let's say there are continuous issues that are happening and uh, we are not able or uh, the customer is uh, the service provider is not at all able to fulfill the needs of the customers then the results will be in a different way then at the same time network management why network management because in network operations or the network management if you see it is very very important now uh, if you see while you are talking right yeah uh, sometimes we see that the another call is also getting added to the call and we see that some uh, person or someone is speaking on some different topic whom you don't know and all of a sudden they got introduced into your call that is nothing but your call jumping happens or sometimes uh, the network is down and you are trying to connect to the friends or your family members and at the same time you are not able to connect then see the kind of satisfaction that you will uh, have so for from that perspective network operations or network management is again a very very important factor and again the supplier partner relationship which is again um, uh, very very uh, important right fulfillment now fulfillment uh, the term itself states about the delivery of the product and the services to the customer right that is nothing but your fulfillment delivery of services related to your products right that is nothing but your fulfillment 
now assurance if you say now what is the assurance that now in the industry we say that the network always the network is uh, uh, means available wherever you go the network uh, is available means there is 100% availability of the network again there comes to your sla management right uh, sla management is in terms of that how uh, service level uh, agreement how you are providing and whatever the agreed service levels are there with your vendors or with the your uh, preferred partners that what kind of uh, sls they are providing right and also on the performance monitoring performance monitoring etc so this comes under your assurance billing now if we say billing then billing itself is again a very big concept and now in a very short uh, term if you want to see there's a word on the cdr right call detail record this is nothing but the usage right as a just example i am giving this one now whatever the call detail records are there or whatever the uses that is happening that there has to be a proper billing to the subscriber or the proper billing to the customer right because here if you see the prepaid and the postpaid things are there now basically in the postpaid what will happen there are the plans associated to the subscriber which the subscriber has opted and every month whenever your bill cycle runs then you need to tag the product in such a way that the bill generates in line to whatever the subscription the subscriber is having so this is on a very broad level i am trying to uh, cover it up so that we understand so if you want to discuss more on the billing then itself is a huge concept because in your billing rating comes into picture when your rating comes into picture then it, the rating based on the different plans based on the usage type based on the discounts everything will be coming into picture got it so that is one uh, important aspect now again if you see uh, on the vertical functions uh, what we are saying that there are four different elements which are relating to your uh, operations management uh, or sorry operation support and readiness fulfillment assurance and your uh, billing correct now <clears throat> again if you see on the horizontal uh, side now there are the processes related uh, to your horizontal side which are grouped in the form of your crm now what we can say which are grouped in the form of your crm now this we have already say, covered in one of my video that how, what is the exact function of the crm so crm stands for your customer relationship management then comes your service management and operations service management and operations this again is very important because how the services are getting managed and the related operations we basically now what we are seeing on the network side and all then resource management and operations then comes your resource management and operations and the supplier partner relationship supplier partner relationship management so these are on your uh, horizontal functions okay now let us see uh, what exactly uh, uh, the etom model uh, states in a pictorial representation now just i would like to walk through the slide before uh, we get into the model here if you see the etom model uh, we are having different uh, functions uh, which are classified as operation support system service fulfillment revenue assurance rating and billing which we have already discussed now overall in a broader perspective if you want to see uh, it basically comprises of your different functions like your crm uh, support system uh, which comprises again of your service management operations and then comes your resource management and operations all followed by your uh, supplier partner relationship management now overall if you see each and every function or each and every uh, application area now crm itself is a application which is uh, uh, basically for uh, uh, onboarding the customer having the customer information all those things will be related now which again comprises of your uh, marketing fulfillment order handling problem handling sla management likewise uh, service management operation is followed by the, your activations problem management and qas service quality management uh, again the, there comes your resource provisioning and resource double management 
performance management so likewise if again we see on the supplier partner relationship management performance management will be there problem reporting and management will be there requisition management will be there now this all we have already discussed in um, brief i am not going in detail of each and every uh, aspect overall if you see that what exactly the etom model is it's a comprehensive framework which is helping the telecommunication companies to manage the business in a very most efficient way by defining the functions in a very standardized format and in a very structured format now if the functions are defined in a very standardized and the structured format then it will be very very easy for the service provider to provide the better services to the customer and when customers gain the better services then that that will be directly proportional to their experience which we call it as customer experience so if customer is overall satisfied with the quality of the services that the, the service providers are providing it means that will have a direct uh, uh, proportionate to the enhancement in the business so that is how etom model helps in delivering a structured uh, uh, delivery to gain the end customer satisfaction